I would like you as a family to develop hand-eye coordination skills such as rolling, throwing and catching by using items in your own home. So, this could be some tennis, some socks, a cushion and some tin food and of course the basket. Let's go. So the first activity you're going to do is roll some tin food from one side to the other. So how you start is you start with your tin food on one side and your other hand open ready to receive on the other. And you're going to use your eyes to follow the tin food to the other side. Okay? So let's go for 10 of these. Here we go. One. So keep this in front of you. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So to step it up now, with your tin food, you're now going to be crawling and rolling it at the same time. So we're going to start off in the position as if we were Barry the Bear and we're going to now have our hips high and our knees bent and we're going to only use one hand to roll and crawl at the same time. So we're going to roll nice and slow until we get to one side of the room and once you get to the other side of the room you change hands and do the same thing. Okay, so it's nice and slow, I'm not going too fast and I'm still keeping my eyes on the tinned food. Okay. So we're going to do it twice on both sides, okay, like this, good. Now, once you've done that, you can step it up even more by rolling from one arm to the other arm, like this, okay. So back in the same position, I'm rolling it from my right hand to my left hand to my right hand to my left hand like this and then the same on the way back okay make sure you're keeping it in front of you so you can move forward okay keep going so you're crawling and rolling at the same time good stuff so next with your parent or carer you're going to grab some tinned food and you're going to do some rolling in between us. So, you're going to start off with a space like this and you're going to crouch down. You're going to have your fingers on the tin and you're going to roll it between each other like this, okay? So we're going to go for 10. So, 1, 2, 3, so you're just rolling it forward, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. So once you've done that, you can move back a little bit further and do the same thing. Okay? So one, two, so you might have to push it a bit higher. Three, four, so just rolling it forward. Five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. So to step it up a little bit now, you're both going to have some tin food in your hand and you're going to roll it towards each other, but this time you're going to be in a sort of bear position, okay? You're going to have one in your hand and the other person will have them in their hand too and you're going to roll it at the same time towards each other like this. So what you're aiming to do is making sure that you're keeping your eyes on the tin as well as you're pushing the tin at the same time. Let's go for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten good so this time we're going to be back a little bit keeping those hips high still and those hands on the floor 
Let's see if we can go for 10 more now. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good stuff. Next, you're going to do some throwing and catching towards yourself. Now you can use a teddy, I have gummy here, or you can use a cushion, up to you. What I'm looking for is for you to stand with your legs slightly open, and you're going to be having this teddy bear above your head, and then you're going to catch, okay? When you catch, have your hands as a basket, and then making sure that you're following your eyes with the teddy, okay? So let's go for 10 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now, to step it up, we are going to now walk, throw, and catch at the same time. So, I would like you to walk slowly, Okay, and make sure that you're not throwing it too high, otherwise it's going to be hard to catch. Okay, so let's try 10 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, good stuff. Now, if you really want to step it up, you can throw a bit higher and walk at the same time, but try your best, okay? So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Brilliant. Right. Next, we are doing a throwing and catching exercise with a cushion. So all you simply need to do is have your hands out as if it was a basket and your legs hit with the part. So as you're throwing it, your arms are going to be out, aim at the person, and then you're going to keep your eyes on the cushion on the way back, okay? Let's go for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now, you can make it challenging by stepping back if you want to, but this time we're going to be doing some squats instead. So, one, two, so you're bending your legs, three, keeping your back straight, four, doing the same technique as you're throwing, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. So, if you want to step it up a bit more, Use some clean socks with this, okay? So, have your hands as if it was a cup now, ready to throw and catch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right, so we step back a little bit now, and we're going to do a squat with it. One, two, three, Four, five, six, good stuff. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good stuff. For this activity, we're going to be throwing into a target. I have my three teddies here, and I'm using a basket as a target. You're going to give yourself a point every time you get it in, and when we go and collect the teddies, you're going to move as an animal. So, bending your legs, throwing underarm, looking forward, into the basket. That's one point, two points, three points. So, Kevin the kangaroo, knees together, hands together, and we balance them up and down like this. We're going to collect them and bounce back. Next animal will be bending the bunny. So, four. Underarm throws, looking forward, four points, five points, and six points. So hands on the floor, knees bent, kick out, and move forward. You 
them up. Slide to class. Next animal will be Chrissy the Crab. Seven points, eight points, nine points. So I'm going side to side with a smile on my face, moving as a crab, connect, and then move side to side to the other side like this. Okay, final animal will be Barry the Bear. 10 points, 11 points, and 12 points. Hands on the floor, knees bent, and I'm going to be moving forward like this. Connect and slide them across again, and then crawl to the other side. With this, you can do two rounds or three rounds of this. Good stuff. So this is a bonus activity that you can do at home involving a balloon. Now I understand that you may not have a balloon in your home, but it's cheap to buy from the shops for as little as a pound and you get a big pack of them as well. So as it's hand-eye coordination, this is perfect to develop hand-eye coordination by tapping the balloon up in the air and using your eyes to follow where it's going. Okay, so I would like you to try different body parts to touch the balloon. So it could be your head, shoulders, it could be knees, okay, and toes. And what's good about this is that the balloon doesn't move fast, so it gives you plenty of time to adjust your body and hit the balloon with every body part that you can think of. So do this for about a minute, how many you can do in regards to body parts, count and then go again for another minute and see if you can do more than that. So thank you for taking part in this video. I hope as a family you have enjoyed it and that you have developed your hand and eye coordination by doing rolling, throwing and catching activities involving things in your home. So thank you once again and keep active at home.